Well, good morning. This is a very special week for us because we have some friends, Tara and John Newby from the YouTube channel, The Newbies. I'm sure you guys have heard of them visiting us this week, helping us out with some fantastic projects. And I think somehow they've convinced us to end it off in an ice bath. If you don't already follow along on The Newbies journey, this is John and Tara, and they have two sweet boys, Crusoe and Sawyer. They have traveled the world as a family and are now renovating their very own property in Portugal. It is so amazing to meet like-minded people who have similar values and even similar personalities. If you have been following along on both of our journeys, this week you may see a different side to all four of us. Let's just say we bring out the most interesting parts in each other and there will be some secrets revealed. The trip where we got engaged in Australia, he gave me a piggy bag and he said, Cheapers, you're not as heavy as you look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys are the same. You guys, that's something Brady would absolutely And like say to me. puzzled as to why I did not find that a compliment. I would never oh. say something like that. Oh, right. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah, Alexa, <laughs> she says, yes, you would. <laughs> so, two nights ago, I had a massive amount of poles dropped off in the middle of the road. We tossed some down to a lower terrace and then stored some here for fencing up there as well as some playgrounding. Monkey bars! Monkey bars. So we are building a fence and monkey bars today, but we have to get the poles up a couple of terraces. Whoops. Yeah, I do think the car is possibly the best way of doing it. It does sound a bit sketchy though. Brady says sketchy, but I reckon that's a great idea. <laughs> way easier than carrying them all the way up that huge hill they've got here. We tried a couple like that, it was not good. So the only problem is we have a very steep hill going up into the house. So Brady, how many of these are we are we loading up before we... I don't want to go too crazy because I'm a little nervous about actually making it up the hill. Mm. Sorry, Chloe. Um, maybe uh, let's pop on three or four more and call it good. Yeah, okay. Carrying them up one by one. Dude, that has made life a whole bunch easier, hasn't it? That was a little scary though. That's amazing. Hi, Mama. Hi. This feels very uncomfortable even though Good I'm work, not... Chloe. Hell yeah, by myself. I gave her the heavy end. <laughs> It's really so incredible to have friends here with us working on the property. Having John around is really nice because it makes my job a little less difficult. He helps Brady a little more than I can. And I have Tara here that is a friend that I can chat with and we've had so much fun just getting to know each other. And these are memories that I'm going to cherish forever. How many people does it take to carry a lock? Three, Whoa, Yay. good job, girl. I think this one will be used for the monkey bars. Okay, kids? Mm -hmm. Hello, new place. Yeah. Is that three distance? Does that feel good? I think that's good. Alexa, what's 20 plus 50? 20 plus 50 is 70. Okay, what's 70 plus 50? 120. What is 120 plus 50? 170. Okay, what's 170 plus 50? 220. What is 220 plus 50? 270. Congratulations, you're done with your school for today. Woohoo! That's a math lesson. <laughs> it is often a challenge to get all of the important things into our days here on our property, but we are all learning as we go. If you don't yet know our story, let me tell you a little bit more about us. I'm Heather, this is my husband Brady, and we are renovating this 200-year-old stone house with our two girls, Alexa and Chloe, in the foothills of the Italian Alps. We release new videos every week, and we would love to have you join in on the journey. If you would like, take a brief moment while you watch this video to click subscribe. It's completely free, only takes two seconds, and it really does help us out tremendously. What do you think? Do you want like a natural curve to it, or should we find some super straight poles? I mean, it's like a natural playground. It can be curvy. Yeah, I'll have to just try it out. What would be the issue with the curves when it comes to I honestly have no issue with curves. I'm a big fan of curves. Yeah, you like curves. Yeah. yeah. I am going to swap these out for some less curvy points. Oh, wow. Oh, this one's heavy. You are so like John Brady. This whole like canvassing for opinion, but you've already made up your mind. <laughs> so what do you think about this? Well, I think this. Okay, well, I think that. So we're going to do that it that way. That is so Isn't true. It? Like, what do we all think about curves? We all agreed you were fine, and then you went and changed the pole. 
It's exactly <laughs> what happens. He asks my opinion all the time, yeah. and it's like he doesn't really want it. No, he's not going to listen me. anyway. I asked Chloe's opinion, and I was like, uh, no. Yeah, you do the same thing. You get it from Daddy, don't you? Mm-hmm. Sure Girls, how long have you waited for a playground? I promised them a playground. Day one. Oh, man. It's, what is it? Day 76 and a half? <laughs> Here we are. Who knows? The playground. We lost count. Ready, set, go! Whoops. Yeah. No, I mean, I snapped I'm my no line. Expert, but that's not in line. But I snapped my line. I had my measurements right. I think there's something off there. I should let John do this. No, 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 no way. The man who built an entire kitchen with a handsaw. I know. So, yeah, and built that entire kitchen three times before the boss but, said it was good enough. Okay, I, I need a prop for anyone who doesn't know what a handsaw is. It's a caveman saw. That's true. <laughs> like, I'm sitting there watching his video. I think it was like 7 o'clock in the morning. Heather's still sleeping. And he's like sawing cabinets with a handsaw. I go and wake Heather up. Look at this guy! <laughs> like, just go buy a saw! No, man. Do you know all of these uh, electrical equipments and, and uh, power tools, you know? I just get lost with them, so I, I'm, I'm a lot safer with a, with a handsaw. I can't chop anything off. So the problem with having friends here is that I don't actually want to get any work done. I just want to sit around and talk to Tara all day long, and then Brady keeps calling me, No, Heather, we got to get to work, we have to get to work. So we're just having so much fun. We are having I'm the best time. So I think we here. just solved all of the parenting problems in the world. <laughs> of the whole world. Yeah. We just did you it. and me together, we got this. <laughs> Haven't we? I mean, <laughs> it's the best time. Oh, I love you. Time. So I'm making some pancakes for lunch today. And everything is a bit chaotic, a bit of a mess. This is real life right here. We've got four kids amongst, amongst us and... Um, you know, everybody's just eating bananas and peanut butter and throwing things all around. So it is a bit crazy, but we are having so much fun. And what do you have with your spatula situation? So here? as I was preparing to make pancakes, I keep kept forgetting things, you and better flip that. I better flip this. This is I don't have a spatula. It's a concrete I, spatula. <laughs> it's a concrete spatula. This is not gonna work. I'm gonna ruin this pan. It's <laughs> yeah, that's pancakes. That's good. <laughs> Um, so this has never been used and it's been thoroughly washed, but uh, we have no spatula because we forgot to bring one from the apartment. So this is what we're working with today. We're being fantastic hosts. We're, we're, making, our, we're making our guests pancakes. Wouldn't you want to eat that? <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever cooked in my life. I mean, Crusoe came back and asked for seconds, so I think it probably tastes pretty good. Can we, can we discuss what they are? We're dealing with scrambled pancakes. It's scrambled today. pancakes. Scrambled pancakes. Yes. Lovely. They taste good. It's, Crusoe's pretty... already eaten his. Yeah. Oh, he asked for seconds. He came back and asked for more, so that's a win. I'm going to try to make them smaller this time and see. Oh, leave that, Crusoe. <laughs> I am not strong enough for that. Okay, don't hurt yourself. I, it. I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> So I could not find safety glasses. I gave up looking. We both have the same problem of lo losing tools. So these are Tara's sunglasses. She went for a walk. I don't think she'll mind. Those look like nice sunglasses. Don't, don't they are nice sunglasses. Bye -bye. I'll be careful with them. I probably have some cheap ones in the car. So I drilled one a little bit at an angle. So the first little pole is going off the wrong direction. So it's the problem with winging it and moving fast. Did Brady wake you up? I'm sorry, man. Oh, sorry, man. I'm going to go and see mummy. Hey, don't do that without me. I'm keen to join in. Perfect. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm having more fun building this than you will have playing on it. <laughs> That man, it's gonna go, brilliant, go real right? cool. Woohoo! Historically, Brady has always come up with some really unique ideas and things for us to do, projects or businesses or anything like that. And I'm very supportive. I trust him, but usually I cannot see what he sees until it's finished. And then I see, yes, you were right. This is brilliant. Um, and I think this is one of those situations. I'm not tall enough for this nonsense. 
Oh man, I can't wait. That's brilliant though, right? This is fun. <laughs> it's, going, it, it's going really well, man. I mean, it's a lot solider than I thought it was going to be when we put those yeah. poles in the ground, eh? Do you know what that is? That's also exercise for you, Brady. There you go. <laughs> You'll be doing your pull-ups first thing in the morning before you start building in. Yeah, sure I will. <laughs> it's so cool and it's, it's really, yeah. really strong, you know? Alexa. I told you it's almost ready. It's not ready yet. Do you like it, buddy? I love it. You want to try it out? We'll make some stairs. That is so I cool. Do a little too Love it. A pot, so I get a little scared because it's further than I'm used to. Should we start over and make them closer no. together? Okay. So I know this project seems a bit odd since we really need to be working on the inside of the house. We don't really need to be working on monkey bars, but it is really important for the girls to have a place to play while we are working so that they don't have to be with us all the time. And I know you guys understand the sentiment completely. A hundred percent. It's one of the things I have loved about being here is like the fact that there's so many parallels between what you guys are doing and what we're doing because we're a family with kids and we've got these massive projects to undertake. And we've had a similar thing in Portugal where we've put part of our farm down to lawn so that the boys have got somewhere to run around and kick a ball and enjoy themselves but for me it was like a huge thing because I really the dream is that that farm is like a self-sustaining place where we can grow our own food and that it's like in line with the values of permaculture and it's a haven for wildlife and all that sort of stuff so to put down like a monoculture lawn monocrop lawn thing yeah. I was like oh my gosh what are we doing but it's this thing isn't it right when yeah. you're parenting and you have these kind of places and these sorts of projects you have to get the balance to keep them happy, yeah. to keep us happy, to keep the family happy, yeah, to exactly. kind of provide a family home. So I'm all for the monkey bars. Yeah, I love it. And actually, speaking of that, so a couple of, well, quite a few months ago now, we had a competition on our channel where we asked people to name a rock, which sounds ridiculous, but it was <laughs> yeah. super fun. So we're going to launch a new competition, which is all to do with the playground. So if you come on over to our channel next week, we'll be announcing more details about what that competition is going to entail. But basically, start dreaming about your dream playground and your dream kind of scenario as a kid. And then come over to our channel and tell us about it next week when you know what the competition's about. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see what that is about. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I can't, it's one of these like crazy ideas that John's come up with, which I actually, it's not as bad as an underground swimming pool. <laughs> it's quite a good one. Nice. All right, Alexa, come over here. Crusoe, do you want to help too? So noisy. I don't know any of you, how many of you guys out there are, are parents or grandparents, but it's one of the coolest things in the world to watch a kid grow, especially in places like this where we've got wide open spaces and lots of projects going on, lots of things happening that kids can be involved safely with. Um, outside, no TV, love it. Can you help me? Thank you. Can you push? Help me push. Yeah. High five. Good work, yeah. buddy. Nice. It is so incredible that this fence is finally going up. This was one of our first projects that we started here on the property and we just kept getting distracted by other things, but really this is so important, especially as we head into the spring in the next few months. I am so excited that the girls will be able to play in this area and I will not have to worry about them falling off of a terrace. It's really incredible. Come on, Crusoe, another log. So we've run into a bit of an issue with the the look of the outside of the house, the aesthetic of, of it, because we have to have the house to code in okay. order to um, classify it as a house, right. which is what we want to do so we can yeah. live in it. Is it not currently um, classified as a house? It's not a house right now, oh, it's a barn. Interesting, okay. 
Okay. Yes. So in order mm -hmm. to do that, we have to have more light in each room. Okay. So we have proposed that we would enlarge the windows okay. to let more light in, yeah. which makes complete sense. Yeah. So we sent out our paperwork to get that approved. Okay. And unfortunately, they do not want us to enlarge the windows. Right. So they want us to actually enlarge the doors. Right. Which would make the doors go like almost all the way up to the second story, which would look absolutely ridiculous. What? The the other idea was like in this the fireplace room, it doesn't have an exterior door like the kitchen and the office over there. Yeah. So the idea is we need to put a door in that room to the exterior, which would be four exterior doors in our house. So it's a it's a lot of crazy things. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna have to figure out a way okay. to be able to just enlarge the windows some way that we could all be happy with yeah, yeah but it's just crazy because the idea is they want to keep the house looking like it used to okay and so do we that's yeah, our course. that's our desire is that it will look authentic and and like it was meant to yeah. but we also need it to be livable so it's just really interesting kind of fighting with that italian bureaucracy and, and figuring out what are we going to do how are we going to make this into a home and not make it look really ridiculous. So that's to, a big to battle. To clarify, on, on finance, we want so. it to look exactly how it is currently. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. We yeah, would exactly. leave it just like it is. Yes. Exactly. Just put, like proper but windows they, in, and yeah, they won't allow us to do that. So we are yeah. fighting. We will not give up on the fight. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But what they are making us do currently would make the house look absolutely ridiculous. It would look so crazy. That is crazy, and that's such a shame because like. You're all, like you were saying, you're all kind of, the goal is the same. Is there a chance, like, can you get in a room with them and, like, I don't know. beat it out, talk it out? I don't know. I like, I I like to beat it out. Beat it out. <laughs> <laughs> Whip them into shape. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, hopefully um, we can come to some sort of agreement that is really the best for the property in general. Like, we yeah. want it to be authentic. We want to keep yeah. it as close to how it was originally as mm. possible, but mm -hmm. we also want to live in it. Yeah, so absolutely. it's really challenging. It's such a special building, like, and I can't imagine, yeah, like you say, it's just, you, you, we don't want to change it. Yeah. It's perfect just the way it is, but you just need to make it livable. Yeah. Oh, guys, I hope you get there. What they want us to do is make the door this tall, which would look absurd. All of the doors on the first floor being this tall. Pokey. Sorry, I'm, I'm leaning over you to make sure everything's working. You're blocking me. They can't see me. They can't. can't see me. Just a second. I'm trying to check the settings. All right, <laughs> here. What are you we guys doing are here? shorter in real life than you looked on YouTube, by the way. I actually thought the same thing about you. Yeah, we were like, <laughs> oh my gosh, they're going to be giants. Like, I thought you were like 6'10". <laughs> I, I really don't know if that is in years or something. That's yeah. so funny. I thought you guys like, were so tall. Yeah, I, I was know, like, oh my gosh, gosh. <laughs> they're really short. We're like, very short. Yeah. Yeah. We, we don't talked about we how see you with other we're going to look so silly next to these giants. Yeah. <laughs> I was picturing you being like, hey John, how you doing up there? <laughs> That's funny. So funny. So we are going to do a little bit of a game to see which couple knows each other better. Oh, I love it. Should we take bets as to who's going to win currently? I feel or like just let, let it play out. What we've learned as we spent time Wait. together. How long have you guys been married? And how long have you been married? Come on. Yeah, you guys definitely got more years. How, on how, many how long years? have you been? Three. Okay, three. but you've been together for like seven. You no, said. Oh, no, doesn't, doesn't okay, matter. Three. Doesn't three matter. Three years married. Okay, hey, we've been, we've been married for. Twelve and a half years. So that's, oh, man, you guys, more, <laughs> you guys have times okay. longer. You guys have had <laughs> way longer to get to know each other but, than you have. Okay. Unfair advantage, I say, to <laughs> raising voyages. What we found, though, over the last week of being together, is that we're basically like carbon copies of each other. Yeah. So I'm guessing we will know the same things about each other, and we will not know the same things about I, each other. I think you might be right. I think you might be right. Well, let's start. I'm excited. Okay. First question: okay. What school subject did your wife hate? I know Biology this and one. English. She loves. I know this one. I will be hate? so mad if I get this wrong. Okay. I've definitely got this one right. I know it. I don't even know the answer to that. I'm like. Uh, I'm it's super it easy. The the thing that you really hated most of all. Okay. Ready? Okay. One, one two, two, three. Jim. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, that's not a subject. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> Rowing. Rowing. Rowing's not, not a subject. subject. Well, I mean, Guys, I have an unfair like disadvantage <laughs> Tara, job. Tara hated rowing. She loved rowing. That Sorry, this is Jim, okay. and it's a crude picture of a dodgeball hitting Heather in the face. 
<laughs> That's a story for another day. <laughs> yes, first point. Is it? One point for us. Actually, right, Dolly, come on, game face. Okay. Okay. This one's oh, all you guys. Right. This one's all you. It's not recording. What are you doing? Kidding. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I normally don't fall for that. What is your husband's dream car? Oh, I hope you know this. You better know this. Do I know I what cars are called? There's one that I. I think. Darling, if you mean I get yeah. the one. <laughs> yeah. It's the Hey, it's the same as me. Oh no! Oh, no. I was like, I gotta go. oh, yes. oh, okay. I hope I got it right. One, two, three. Land Rover Defender. Defender. <laughs> you guys are the same person. Yes. Do you know? I, I did. I did put down a Dodge Challenger. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what? It was nearly. You it was, right? That, by the way, everybody, was nearly Brady knocking over his own camera and not my son. <laughs> it was a travesty, but Hold not on. that bad. A stone fell off her house, <laughs> literally out of the wall. I don't know how, and then I tripped on it. <laughs> Just so everybody in America watching um, uh, knows, my second choice for perfect car would have been a Dodge Challenger. Vroom, vroom. Really? Yeah, man. Vroom, no. vroom. Those are, those are good looking cars. No. Oh, oh, no. I feel like the bromance is coming to an end. Let's change the subject. <laughs> garbage. Vroom, vroom. Is it? Okay, this one I think is really interesting. If your wife could live anywhere in the world other than where you are currently living, where would it be? Oh, that's hard. It's easy, it is hard. I don't even know. If I'm I know. That. Easy, easy. Do you? Don't easy. say anything. Don't yet. say anything because I don't know. Because it depends on your mood. <laughs> that is. Very true. <laughs> so I'm trying to decide what mood you're in today. Right now I want to live in Portugal with these guys. <laughs> That's not my answer. All right. <laughs> okay, one, two, right. three. Costa Rica. Oh, Australia. Oh, yeah. oh you yeah. guys got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I thought, I Just for everybody's, uh, everybody's I, information, I, I that is Zim, which is Zimbabwe, which is a country in Africa. That's where Tara grew up. Where Tara yeah. grew up. Yeah. If yeah. you guys haven't seen it, you should go back and watch their latest video. Your latest video of you growing up in Zimbabwe like yes. made me a little envious of oh. growing up in yeah. Zimbabwe. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. It was brilliant. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so please check it out. It was a fun, yeah. love fun walk down memory lane. Yeah. It was a fun walk down yeah. memory lane. Right. Okay. Who said I love you first? Oh, that's easy. I don't remember. That's what I'm really? saying. I think, I, I think I know. Yes, I know. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, hold on. Did you change it? No, I added a, a subtitle. <laughs> no, <laughs> rubbish, I did. <laughs> Me. Brady did, yeah. <laughs> now we're tied, of. we should have done that one. <laughs> sort of, everybody. What do you see what sort kind of? of? A, see what well, kind of kind a kind of a sort of doesn't thing. count. You do you know, okay. Here's, here's another question, very briefly, with an answer straight away. How many times did John have to ask Tara to marry him? <laughs> 65. 65? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> he did ask a More. lot. <laughs> Eventually wore me down. I got bored of saying no. A story for another episode, everybody. Yeah, we're going to have to do more of these. <laughs> she eventually said yes, then. Okay, so final question. Where would your husband go traveling next? Where's the next place he wants to go? That you haven't been before or that you've been before? Wait, that doesn't, there's a not very many options for you, so that doesn't count. <laughs> not where you haven't been, anywhere in the world. John's been to 166 countries? Or? 163, there are 169 <laughs> in the world, plus three observers, that's United Nations yeah. stats. Darling, I, I, I'm, <laughs> you've written that so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the answer. Three, two, one. Morocco. Morocco! Yeah! <laughs> that was a lucky <laughs> guess. That was Sorry, a lucky I guess. I should have known that. My own wife doesn't know where I want to go and travel to next. What I hope is they're in this world fight. You know? That was fun. That was fun. Great game, Heather. I love it. Really. Head on over to our Instagram if you want to see the full version of this little game we played. Also, make sure you watch the newbies video of our time where we actually spent the rest of the day building a makeshift infinity pool. As crazy as that sounds, we did it. And then somehow challenged ourselves to fill it with ice and jump in. So today is the day. I really am a little confused how we got to this point, but somehow that was your idea. Yeah, right? how are you confused? This is all I your fault. I think that <laughs> I think, like I said, like when you put two guys together who are 
children in adults' bodies. Yes. We start competing. We start having these ideas. We go, hey, let's build a pool because you've got some pool experience. You built it in three weeks. Well, we can do it in a day. A day. An yeah. infinity pool in a day. So we built a brilliant infinity pool. And then we go, you know what? It is January. We are in the mountain. It is cold. It's 40 but degrees at the moment. Let's up it a notch. Let's go and buy all of the ice in our local grocery <laughs> store. Bought them out of ice. We're going to fill it up. And we're going to jump in and have a bit of an ice bath. I don't know yet. I yeah. still don't know yet. And I think Tara doesn't know yet either. Tara, yeah. we are definitely you getting it. What? what? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Let's well, do it. Not, <laughs> not every day you build an ice bath on in the foothills of the Italian Alps. Ice Al- infinity Al- pool. Yes. An ice infinity pool. The ice world's infinity first pool. ice infinity pool. Love yeah. it. Honestly. <laughs> I would also like it noted that Brady lured us here on the promise of uh, building a sauna. He and did. here I am getting into an ice infinity pool. I'm not yes. sure that's exactly what we said. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was. And I said I would do it if there was a sauna. I would get into an ice bath again, like we did in Finland. But this is not like Finland. <laughs> this is not like Finland. All right, so this possibly was my idea. And I was like, hey, what are we going to do? We should do something fun, maybe an ice bath. And John's like, you know what? I'm not the biggest fan of cold water. But since it's your idea, we could see. And maybe we could see how long we could go. But I'm not the biggest fan of cold water. <laughs> That's true, though. And, I mean, no, <laughs> hold is? on. I felt a little hustled. I was like, there's something wrong with this. I did a bit of a Googling. Yeah. Turns out the man's a polar specialist, whatever that means. Yeah. Lived in the Arctic Circle for 13 years. Uh, has done the polar plunge in Antarctica, what, twice now? Uh, I think four times. Four times? Uh, yeah. And I think I'm a little outmatched. I think I've been a bit hustled. Yeah. Not to mention the fact that you two were married by an actual penguin. Yeah. <laughs> which is a bit of a story. In Antarctica, yeah. In Antarctica. Absolutely. Sorry, I missed that part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I do think as I'm standing here, freezing to death. I'm a bit outmatched, but it is time to do the ice bath. Let's do it. All right, three, three, I don't get it again, I don't get it again. You're in and out, in and out, in and out, okay? Three, two, one. Oh, that's not bad. I might as well get the benefit of it. Oh my goodness. Bra- hey girls, Brady is still in the water. Brady's still, in- still, Brady's still in the water. No. What? I'm so glad I got out when I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> well, we are warmed back up now, kind of, except for the toes. But this has been just an incredible week. We've had so much fun with the newbies. We cannot wait to hang out with them more. So you guys need to go and check out their channel. They have lived such parallel lives than us. However, far cooler. (laughs) Much cooler. And much more adventurous. Yes. And they are much wiser and slightly funnier than we are. (laughs) I think so. I think so. (laughs) But please go check them out. We made a video with them on their channel. And uh, they sat us down and asked us all the hard questions, including where do we live and how much do we pay for our house? and a bunch of other fun stuff. So please go check out their video and give them a subscribe. Next week, we get to experience the first snow on our mountainside property, and we do hope you will join us for that. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you all again next week.